Real Tube asks, Liv, can you explain to me the gravitational waves thing? Sure. Um, uh, okay, so when you, you know what light is, right? Light is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, that also includes, so light is like wavelengths which are visible, which our eyes can pick up, but then you have going on the like f higher frequencies, you've got ultraviolet light and x-rays and gamma rays and cosmic rays and all that stuff, and on the other way you have infrared to microwaves to radio waves. But it's all basically the same shit, um, just different energies basically. And those are what we currently use to detect the universe. To, to, to figure stuff out about the universe. We look through like an optical telescope to look at visible light. We have telescopes for radio waves. We have telescopes for, you know, like basically across the spectrum in some way. And we can pick up information of, about the universe from that. And thus far, that's all we've ever been able to pick up information because, you know, all this stuff travels across a vacuum and so we pick up stuff from space. But when Einstein came up with the theory of relativity, he realized that there's this whole like like space time itself is an actual like tangible thing um and it's not just like a mere vacuum and basically his equations predicted that there would be when there was like some major gravitational event like two stars colliding or two black holes going around each other um anything like that that it would actually cause like ripples in the fabric of space time itself um, much like you drop a, a stone into a pond um and like ripples will come away from it Gravitational waves are those ripples in the fabric of space-time itself, and so it's they're completely different from how we normally sort of receive information about the universe. Uh, and for the first time this year, we actually received these gravitational waves. We managed to build um, a telescope essentially to actually pick these up and get information about the universe. So it's so exciting because it's like a whole new method of learning about the universe that we've never had before. Um, it's kind of like actually, it's more like a sound, you know, because like light travels across, you know, any, any medium basically, or, you know, electromagnetic waves travel across the vacuum, but, uh, gravitational wave sounds sort of travel through something by like vibrating the material of whatever it's passing through. Well, gravity waves are the sound that's passing through space time itself. So, uh, we now have ears as well as eyes, um, to learn about the universe. So we're going to discover a whole new world of crazy shit, I'm sure. It's really cool.